The legacy starts now. You know, my talk this morning is about legacy, you know, and, you know, to be to be completely authentic. And this is a foreign concept for me because I joined this business, this industry for two things. I joined this industry based on a crusade and I joined this industry to make money. And as I dove into this business, as I as I started to have a family, this conversation right here that I'm having with you, this conversation became extremely important to me. Now, when it comes to legacy, my mind, Jamie said it, my mind goes straight to what am I leaving behind? And like I said, they, I believe that's only part of it. So what I've done through this entire talk is, you know, we're going to split legacy into two different areas. We're going to split legacy into legacy while living. And then we're going to talk about what's left behind. All right. And I'm going to just jump through. So what does a living legacy look like or what does it mean? You know, I believe legacy is all about life and living and caring about our world during our lifetime. When you're alive, you have a unique opportunity to draw meaning by helping others in some way that is meaningful to you. Now, we break down our living legacy in, into all different areas of life. And I want you to create this with me right now. Grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, open up your notes on your computer, whatever it is. But I want you right now to create your living legacy, your dream life. Because look, everyone came here to, you know, you're going to put the time in, you're going to put the energy, the blood, sweat, and tears. You're going to put all that stuff in so that you get to live a dream life. So what does that look like for you? What does your living legacy look like? And if we look at all the different areas, the first area that I thought of was your home. You know, what's important to you? What kind of house are you playing for? You know, how many bedrooms do you want? How big is this home? Do you want a pool? Do you have lots of land? Do you want a forest? You know, what exactly is it that you're looking for in terms of your home? Do you want one of those massive kitchens? And then beside the kitchen, there's like a chef's kitchen where you do all the prep work so you can move into the actual kitchen. Like, you know, what is it exactly that you want inside of your home? Another area to look at is cars. You know, what drives you? You know, if cars are important to you, what will you be driving? Is it a Ferrari? Is it a Porsche? Is it a McLaren? Is it a Maserati? Is it a Lamborghini? What is it? What is it for you? Is it a truck? What color is it? What's the color on the inside? What's the color on the inside? You know, do you have like those black seats with the, with the white stitching? What is it exactly do you want inside of a car? How about experiences? You know, what experiences are you, you going to have? Where are you going to go on vacation? How many times a year are you going to go on vacation? Who are you going to bring with you? Are you going to live six months where you currently live now and six months in a different country? Like Andrew Rogers right now in Jamaica or Michael Santanato right now in Mexico? Is that something that you're going to create? What experiences are you going to have? How about this? What opportunities are you going to create for your children and your grandchildren? You know, they, they, they may come to you one day and say, you know what? I, I want to be a, a doctor. I want to be a surgeon. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a dad. I don't know what the profession is, right? But are you going to build a business, an empire that allows you to create different opportunities for them, for them to go to school at the best possible school possible? right? Or is it Harvard? Maybe, maybe you want to send them to Princeton or to Yale or the University of Toronto. You know, what opportunities are you going to create with this business? How about impacts? What impacts are you going to make? You know, what charities or foundations are you going to give to that you're going to completely alter? Hey, maybe you're not, to, you're not going to give to a charity. You're going to create your own. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're going to create your own charity and you go open schools in, in Africa. Maybe that's what you're going to do. Maybe you're going to give to, you know, the Heart Foundation or you're going to give to, you know, any cancer or McDonald's house, whatever that is. What impact are you going to make? See, this is all part of, you know, your living legacy. How about this? 
what crusade are you on? Maybe you're just sick and tired of, of witnessing people pass away without having the proper protection in place. And so you're just so fired up to make sure that you never, ever, ever had to have to witness that again. So you're going to put together a full financial plan for someone and, you know, help them get the proper protection in place. Maybe that's your crusade. Maybe you're on a crusade that you're just tired of seeing people struggle with their debt. And that's what you're committed to. You're committed to helping that person get completely debt free as soon as possible. Hey, look, maybe it hurts you to see people get to retirement and they don't have enough money to live comfortably. Maybe that's it for you. And, and you want to put together the best you know, retirement plan with the highest returns and they have enough money. They get to retirement. And they're, they're completely financially independent. Maybe that's your crusade. Maybe it saddens you to see people not loving their life or their career or their business. And so you want to give them an opportunity like Experior to completely alter everything there is to alter in their life. Maybe that's the crusade you're on. I don't know what it is for you. You know, take down some notes. You know, build that crusade around you and your life. Who are you fighting for? You know, on Friday, on Friday, we, we welcomed our, our, our second child. Her name's Ella. She, you know, she's kind of like blended into my, my wife Ashley's dress there. But um, who are you fighting for? Who are the people in your life that you're completely committed to altering? To give them the choices and options that you never had. Who are you fighting for? I'm going to switch gears a bit. What does legacy mean? Your legacy, like Jamie said, your legacy is the impact you will make on your culture, your community, and customers after you've either sold your business or passed on your business to something, someone else. It was afterwards. Now look, when it's all said and done, what do you want people to say about you? How are people going to remember you? Art Williams said, we're only here for a flicker. It's not going to be long that they're going to be out there planting us in the ground. And there's going to be a tombstone over our heads. And it's going to say one of two things. It's going to say, here lies a dud or here lies a stud. What's your tombstone going to say about you? See, I'm challenging you to live for legacy. I'm challenging you to think big picture. I'm challenging you to think long term. I want you to make decisions with legacy in mind. Legacy is so important because it's, it, you can do something today that lives forever. See, a legacy is something that is passed down. It's your mark. It's your footprint on this earth. It's your contribution to the world. See, your first name is about you, but your last name is about us. Jordan, that is a family's last name. Armani, that is a family's last name. Aston Martin, a family's last name. Baskin Robbins, family's last name. Bombardier, Last name, Burberry, last name, Dolce & Gabbana, family's last names, Ferrari, last name, Fisher Price, family's last names, Forbes, last name, Goldman Sachs, last names, Harley Davidson, last names, Hennessy, last names, Tiger, last names, Lamborghini, last names, Johnson & Johnson, last names, Kraft, last names, Porsche, last names. What about you? What about your last name? What about the Arturis and the Delios and the Dubos and the Prickets and the Stewarts and the Barnetts? What about you? What about your last name? What actions are you going to take to completely alter your family tree? Now is the time to create your legacy. Now is the time to take actions. Now is the time to take those actions, build a business that lives, that, that, 
you know, life lives beyond you. See, I don't know what my name meant before I got here. But man, I know what it's going to mean before I leave. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Hey, if you like this video or any of the other videos that I have on my channel, stay tuned. We have so many more coming, but I want to make sure that you're in the know, that you know when they're coming. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell.